Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech and in today's video what we're going to do is we are going to be doing an unboxing of the Pixel 3 XL. We're going to do a first time setup and a quick overview of this fantastic product. So this was sent to me from Google directly. I just got it today. So let's do a quick unboxing and see what's going on in here. So let's lift up the box. Okay. And there's the Google uh, uh, Pixel 3a XL. This is a larger version with a six inch display. So let me lift up the phone just like that. And put that aside for one second. I'm going to come back to it right away. So in the box, what we have is we have the user guides right over here. Okay, this thing right here. Uh, we have a bunch of cables, obviously, that's going to attach to the actual charger. The charger is right over here. Let's pull it out, see what it's all about. So that's the actual charger. That's a fast pixel charger. It's got a USB type C input port. And of course, that's the cable that you use to connect it to the phone to charge the phone quickly. And then over here, what we have is we have a little adapter that allows you to basically uh, attach a regular sized uh, micro USB into the Pixel if you need to transfer some data. All right. So that's what we get in the box. Some user guides and the actual phone. So let's move on over to the actual phone and see what we have here. So first and foremost, this is coming in a gorgeous white color. This happens to be my favorite color. And of course, on the side, we have that uh, greenish button, which is also a very nice uh, design cue. So let me remove this uh, film over here, turn this on and take a look around the phone. There's the phone right there. Uh, I gotta be honest with you, it feels really good in the hand, even though it's plastic as opposed to the glass that you get on the uh, actual XL, the 3XL. This is a 3A XL. So you get plastic back, but it feels really good in the hand. And also it's uh, not that heavy. Uh, and you do not get a notch on the top for the larger uh, XL model. And on the rear here, uh, we've got the camera and the flashlight. And of course that camera is the same exact camera you get on the flagship Pixel XL. So that's a fantastic deal. We do have the uh, fingerprint sensor right over here. And then we've got that color power button. We've got the volume rocker. And on this side, we've got the SIM card tray. And as you know, uh, this phone also comes with a squeeze functionality that allows you to actually bring up Google Assistant when you squeeze the sides of the phone right here, which we're gonna take a look at in a second. Now, I do wanna let you know that the screen size is six inches and it has four gigabytes of RAM and also it runs the Snapdragon 670 processor. So Google had to do some cost cutting on this to get us this at that low price. Uh, but that camera is going to be the best feature of this phone. So basically you're getting one of the best smartphone cameras in the market for $479 for the XL. And if you get the smaller version, the 3A, that's only $400. And of course, I did mention to forget about the bottom over here. So we have, we have the actual speaker grills. We have the USB Type-C port. And of course, the biggest thing is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top right over here. And of course, we got that little microphone on the side. Okay. All right, let's dive in. All right, so here's the phone. So let's get started. So I'm going to click on start right here. Okay. So the very first thing they want you to do is connect to a mobile network. I'm going to skip that right now as well. Skip. But we do want to connect to the Wi-Fi. So let's uh, look for the Wi-Fi connections. There's one right there. Let's log right in. All right, so we're good with that. We're going to connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, very fast, very good. It is saying it may take a few minutes to get this rolling, but it looks like we're done, okay? So do you want to copy apps and data? So this is an option you have. If you want to transfer your data from your other smartphones, you can do this, but I'm going to uh, set up a brand new device. So I'm going to say, don't copy. And then again, it's giving me a second here checking information and probably it's going to ask me to add my Google account. Let me do that right now. All right. So we're good with that as well. We're moving along very fast. It's a very fast and snappy device so far. Uh, let's just accept everything right over here. Click on accept. Uh, all right. So uh, you can use the fingerprint sensor to unlock your smartphone. It's on the rear of the display as I showed you guys earlier. So right now I'm going to skip this as well. So let's skip that for a second. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a pin lock for the screen. Actually, let me skip this as well. So I'm going to skip this. I'm going to, I'm going to actually uh, set this up in a little bit. So now uh, we can set up the phone completely right now, or we can leave and get a reminder. So let me just tap on continue and see what happens. So if I click on continue, 
uh, it's going to probably ask me uh, to start talking to the assistant. So if I click on continue, uh, access your assistant with voice match so I can record my voice and it's going to recognize my voice before it launches the assistant. I'm going to say no thanks for now. And of course, this is a squeeze functionality. Remember, you can squeeze the bottom sides of your pixel with your hands and that is going to quickly bring up the assistant. That's something you can set as well. So if I click on next, it's going to allow me to actually choose between a light squeeze or a firm squeeze. Okay, so let me just keep it in the middle for now so we can do that as well. So it wants me to grab the phone and squeeze it really quickly. So let's do that. So let's see how it works. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's all good to go. That's the squeeze functionality. All right, so let's click on that. That's actually a very good feature. Uh, I've seen it on other phones as well, like, but this one has it as well. So let's uh, click turn on on the always on display. Okay, and then let's just do no thanks for now and go straight into the actual home screen. And we are in fact adding the finishing touches and we're good to go. And there we have it, okay? Now let me quickly show you guys what I like about the Pixel phones right off the bat. Uh, basically, if you uh, press and hold on the screen and you go to wallpapers, they have an exceptional selection of wallpapers. So let me pick a nice one, uh, but look at all these categories that they have. Let's go to landscapes. Uh, let me just pick a nice, cool looking wallpaper that is gonna please my eyes. So let's pick this one right here. That's one of my favorites. Uh, click on set wallpaper, okay? So home screen and lock screen, okay? So that's my new wallpaper, looks fantastic. All right, so I did go back and change my wallpaper to this one. This one is a little bit more bright. Now, let me quickly let you know what I really like about this phone right off the bat. The fact that there is no notch on the top over here. The Pixel 3 XL had a big notch on the front that I was not happy with, but the, the fact that they took it off from this one makes me happy, and I'm even compelled to want to use this phone now because of stock Android functionality. And of course, we do have large borders, but we also have stereo speakers. We have dual speakers on the top and the bottom, so that's stereo speakers. And of course, we have slightly thick bezels on the side as well. Nothing compared to the smartphones that you're going to get today with minimum bezels and basically all screen displays. But still, this is a Google Pixel smartphone. And basically, it is almost no different than a Pixel 3 XL which they sell for $900. Now, as I use the phone, when I go to the app, let's uh, let bring up the you know multitasking pane. Uh, that's the system update, system is up to date. Uh, let's go to the app drawer. It feels fast and snappy with no stutter. Uh, it feels slightly slower than the Pixel 3s because they do have faster Snapdragon processors, but it's not a big difference. This is a stock version of the software, so it's gonna be very lightweight. So let's go to the settings real quick. Let's go to the uh, display right over here. We have all the usual stuff. You're gonna see exactly the same stuff on a, on, a, on a more expensive version of this phone, but then you get everything right here as well, okay? All right, so this phone does have uh, 3,700 milliamp hours of battery, which is gonna be amazing. That's gonna be long battery life on the stock Android smartphone. And of course, one of the biggest features of this phone is gonna be the camera. So when you go to the camera application, you get the same stuff you get on the uh, more expensive version, but you have all the same modes, the video, portray, panorama, whatever. And then you are gonna be able to uh, take really, really amazing shots with the smartphone. Remember, there is no other smartphone in the market right now that is in this price range and offers such a good camera. Even the OnePlus 6, 6T and I'm pretty sure the OnePlus 7 is not going to have a camera that's going to be as good as this smartphone and they're going to be even more expensive than this smartphone. I think it is a winning formula to release a phone in the $400 price range uh, with a camera that gives you the best of the best because a lot of people use their phones for the camera all the time. Now if you're not one of those guys this uh, phone might not be for you but if you're using less of the other features on your smartphone and more of the actual camera, then this is a great phone for a low price that comes with Google stock Android, which is also guaranteed uh, to get, uh, let's see over here, system uh, software updates for three years, no problem. So this is the latest Android running one here. And of course, I've always been a fan of the design of the Pixel phone's rear. I think this is one of the best design uh, language on the market for smartphones. Look at that two-tone style. So we got the upper uh, compartment here, 
with the camera and a flashlight and that camera is no joke that just makes it better and then on the on the bottom you've got a second tone more white and then what you have here is you have a fingerprint sensor and the Google logo when you look at this from top to bottom it really looks better than uh, phones like the iPhone or Samsung phones in my opinion as far as design is concerned not to mention that little touch over here where they give you a little colorful power button that just makes it look even better okay so it's a nice little uh, Googleistic style okay so that is the Google Pixel 3a XL now remember it does not have water resistance it does not have wireless charging but of course that's the reason it is only $479 for the 6 inch model if you get the smaller 5.6 inch model that's only going to be $400 so I do want to put special emphasis on that point uh, if you want a Google stock running phone directly from Google with the best camera in the market then this is the one that you want to get anyway that's it for now I'm going to be making more videos about the Pixel if you do have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know I will see you guys in the next video all right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.